Next on my consult and in today's tutorial we'll be looking at how we can actually create credit notes inside AutoCom. So to do this, all we just need to do is come here, come here to credit note, alright, press credit note, and then what happens is we come to select your customer, say JKL, and then from here we press transfer from invoice, okay. So let's say for example, this is a, just one particular item in the invoice, we can come to partial item delivery, and say this is 4, you want to just return one unit so press one here and press ok All right so here we also have a place where actually we can put in the reason so let's say example the customer cancels subscription okay and once we're done you just press save okay if this product can be returned i mean of course for this is a service but if this product can be sold to another customer you can actually take this return and your stock will be increased if you say like this stock is damaged and cannot be resell we untake this and then your stock will not increase by that one quantity all right so again from here we press save if this invoice hasn't been paid automatically the system will knock off this credit note with that invoice you can come here to ar you can come here to credit note entry so you can see the latest credit note and then from here we can just call the column chooser and here we can select what is my unapplied amount right so straight away you can see the unapplied amount is zero okay so it's already knock off with that invoice and at the bottom here you can see this is knock off to this particular invoice all right so but what happens is if you have already received payment for that invoice but the customer now is returning that product or services to you so same thing we come here to credit note right so we call our customer say abc now we transfer from invoice okay so let's say for example now we cannot find an invoice that's dated 20th of march right so you won't be seeing here because it's already knock off so to see the invoice we actually untick here called show outstanding straight away you can see there's a 20th march invoice we tick it and press ok and then what happens is we just put a reason damage goods and let's say for example this don't update my stock i untick this and we press save okay so now because this invoice has been knocked off the system cannot automatically use this credit note to knock off that invoice we come back here let's say example windows we don't have ar come to ar credit note now we can see 106 and then from here we can right click here column chooser again here we can see unapplied amount we can see that it's still unapplied so let's say you want to use this money or this credit note to knock off another outstanding invoice what we just need to do is highlight this and we press edit okay yes and then here we can use it to knock off say example this invoice we can press save okay and then it will knock off that invoice however there's also another scenario where uh, the customer says i want you to repay me or i want you to give me a refund all right so let's cancel this and to do a refund all we just need to do is come here to ar come here to ar refund entry okay press new so this will be a payment out for your bank account we select abc you can see the credit note here and we can say okay i'm paying out for my maybank account and i can key my check number and what is my amount i'm going to pay off so i say i pay 106 i knock off refund i can generate my payment voucher all right so this is actually how easy it is to create credit notes inside autocom do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides thanks